Meghan Markle recently graced the Variety Power of Women event in Los Angeles, marking her entry into a realm of star-studded luminaries. The cheers resonated through the night, signaling a long-awaited moment as she finally found herself on the coveted red carpet. However, it wasn't just a stroke of luck. Allegedly, WME, in its usual fashion, managed to secure her a spot in this exclusive affair. The guest list boasted luminaries such as Carrie Mulligan, Lily Gladstone, and the sensational Billie Eilish, whose performance of What Was I Made For was nothing short of mesmerizing. Meanwhile, Margaret Robbie clinched the Producer of the Year Award for her remarkable work on Barbie, while Emily Blunt received the prestigious Alumni Award. The attendance of Leonardo DiCaprio, Oprah Winfrey, and even the iconic Dua Lipa further elevated the star power. Surprisingly, Meghan Markle, once a royal figure, found herself relegated to the shadows, the least captivating woman in the room. A stark reality emerged as not a single Hollywood heavyweight showed interest in being photographed alongside her, contrasting sharply with other shared frames among the top listers. Exclusive photos and videos captured moments of Margot Robbie and Dua Lipa effortlessly posing for the variety lens as the latter engaged in conversation with Addison Rae. The conspicuous absence of Meghan's contribution to the event stirred whispers. After all, her journey from royalty to Hollywood lacked the substance that typically defines success in this arena. Married to a prince, she relinquished a career even when the British royal family signaled openness to her retaining it. A rapid descent into motherhood was followed by a pivot towards monetizing familial disputes. The feminist narrative she once carried now seems a distant echo, replaced by a perception of pathos and ineptitude. No wonder Hollywood's elites chose to distance themselves from her to the extent of leaving her in a photo void. Many royal commentators agree that without her royal title, Meghan Markle's influence would dwindle to insignificance. Her acknowledgement in the industry stems not from talent, but from the calculated climb into Harry's world. Amidst top-list women striving, achieving, and pushing creative boundaries, Meghan's reliance on the royal family as a cachet crutch to support a non-existent brand with a lackluster Insta page paints a stark contrast. The once powerful woman has become a mere spectator, marred by constant attacks on the royal family and eroding her credibility. Margot Robbie, riding high on the success of her latest venture, Barbie seized a moment at the awards delivering a sly dig at the royal couple. Nominated in 10 categories, she humorously accepted Brad Pitt's award for Best Supporting Actor, punctuating the evening with a jest about Harry and Meghan's royal exit. The couple's decision to step away from royal duties in 2020, citing institutional mistreatment and intrusive media, thrust them into the media spotlight. Hollywood, quick to capitalize on opportunities, integrated the couple into its narrative, offering them multi-million dollar deals to tell their story. But you can't tell the same story forever. People are tired of these two and they are quickly fading into irrelevance.